In this video we present the Traffic Steering XAP demo developed by Remeta Labs. The XAP has been fully integrated with the ONF's SD Run project. To interact with the TS XAP the map, REST client and the terminal are attached. In the left bottom corner there is a terminal window with all REAP pads. Currently, there is no component responsible for handover. That means the UE is continuously assigned to a single cell. Look at the map. After performing Rumedo's TSX app installation, the UE should be switched between cells. We start without the TSX app policies, so the UE is switched between cells based on RSRP. It means the moving UE is switched between the cells in the middle of the area. This mechanism is based on the actual received RSRP levels from the cells by the UE. To change that behavior, the policy should be passed to the TSX app. The policies to the TSX app shall be delivered through the A1 interface. Look at the terminal. Now let's send first policy for TSX app with third query. The policy is defined for the UE to make the left cell preferred to connect with it. Look at the REST client and the map. The new policy changed the place of the UE switching between the cells. The send policies and available nodes can be observed in the X app logs. Look at the terminal. Let's send the second policy for TSX app with pet query. The policy is defined as previously, but the preferred cell is now set with the avoid flag. Look at the REST client. Look at the map. The result is the mirror image of the previous policy. In other words, the UE prefers the cell on the right side. Let's update the second policy for DSX app with pet query. The new policy forbids the UE to connect with the left cell. Look at the REST client. As it might be observed, the UE is still connected to the right cell. Look at the map. Let's add third policy example for DSX app with boot query. The policy is defined for all UEs with the voice service type. Look at the REST client. The two service types are assumed, voice and voice plus video. The policy informs that UEs with voice service types shall be assigned to the left cell. Now the service type for the UE has been changed from video to voice. Look at the terminal. The UE is assigned to the left cell even if being close to the right cell. Look at the map. The service type for the UE has been changed from voice to video again. Look at the terminal. Currently, the policy for the UE triggers handover based on RSRP because 5PY is equal to 2. Thank you for attention. Best regards from the Remetal Labs team.